when we consider how fair use supports journalism and um, fact-based reporting, one issue that often is overlooked and needs to be considered is how does how does the average reader ascertain what is fact and what is opinion? And how does the average reader ascertain what can be supported by facts or is simply a point of view um, that is being expressed? It, in, a, in a new cycle in a world where um, almost everyone could become uh, a publisher and post information online. And um, the Tau Center for Digital Journal Journalism at, the, uh, at Columbia University at the School of Journalism has done a, a, a great amount of research in this space. And they, it, they've determined that what in fact may be missing is a, a a new form of literacy skill that they're calling algorithmic literacy, understanding the impact um, upon readers in, uh, in, in how news uh, and the news cycle gets information to them and from where um, the news is being reported and who is reporting it and on what basis and uh, upon what facts um, the news is uh, based upon. And when you start talking about literacy skills, this has been the responsibility, in fact, of the library community in teaching literacy skills. And these literacy, literacy skills have become broader and far more important in, in a, a space where we exist um, and we, we obtain our information um, online. And we now, I think, need to consider algorithmic literacy um, as part and parcel of what we uh, teach um, in information schools and in library schools and in, in forms of professional development um, for our own profession. Um, we can't overlook this any longer because in fact, so much of the evidence um, that supports um, research and news reporting comes from the very collections that we're supposed to store.